You can tell him I said it. Leave your bitch alone. It's a really nice one that we got. Really awesome white ones too back in the 80s. Yeah. There were some good ones. Yeah, white girls in the 80s was good. Had the big hair and shit. Michelle Pfeiffer and all that type shit. Doc, Dr. Umar gonna get mad at us for talking about white girls. <laughs> Who's Dr. Umar? You never heard of Dr. Umar? He doesn't like white people or black people talking about white people? Uh, he don't like white people. Huh? He don't like white people. So what's his problem? I don't know, man. He's just a righteous black. I mean, he got some cool ideas, but you know, but why, that, but if he like have if he people. have hate in it, it can't be cool. That shit ain't cool. That part of it ain't cool. None of it's cool. There's any hate involved, it can't be cool. I don't care if it's, if it's dictation rhymes and it sounds right. It can't be I cool. I can't believe so. you ain't never heard of Dr. Umar. You should have Dr. Umar come on this motherfucker. That'd be tight. I don't know. I'm not cool. I, I, I got to see Dr. Umar's work and stuff. He just don't like, you know, uh, interracial dating, man, which is stupid to me. Yeah, you know? Then who is he? Who is he? Who is he to have that thought? Who is he to have that opinion? I guess make the, sure, man, and think that it counts. I guess the nigga's a doctor. I don't know, man. Shit, I just be looking at shit, laughing at some of the shit. It's funny to me. You know yeah, I can <laughs> dig it. I guess so. <laughs> Well, what I will say about him, he got some good like um, business approach ideas for black people. I can't slam him. He got some, you know, good ideas. I don't know him. Slam him. Is, he, is he wealthy? I can't say. I don't know. You know. They sent me a link of Iron Mike Tyson, who I respect, one of my favorite athletes of all time. Speak with brother Freddie Gribbs, and uh, brother, they were talking about white girls, something that uh, famous black men like to do. They were talking about white girls. And uh, Freddie said, we can't be talking about these white girls that Dr. Umar gonna be mad at us. Well, that was the first mistake, brother Freddie, because I don't get emotional because black men don't know how to be loyal to black women. That doesn't get me emotional, my brother. Politics is not about emotions. Brother Freddie, politics is not about emotions. So when you say Dr. Umar will be angry at us for talking about white girls, you are incorrect. I understand, overstand, and understand the post-traumatic slavery disease of the American Negro. I wouldn't get upset with you, brother. I will have compassion for you. I will hurt for you that we have lost our way as black men. Don't ever say I'm going to get angry because you want to talk about white girls. If that's the case, I'd be angry all day. No, sir, brother. You got to understand, understand, and overstand who I am and what I stand for, my brother. I don't get angry because black men love white girls. That's not what I do, my brother. What you should have said, what you could have said, okay, what should have been stated is that Dr. Umar does not support interracial marriages because they take away from the building of solid black families between the black man and the black woman. That's what you should have said. This is not about emotions, brother. This is not about hating white folks. This is about loving my people, loving my race, loving my woman, loving my community. It has nothing to do with hating anybody else. So you misrepresented me, brother Freddie. You misrepresented me. And then you went on. And then you went on. You said, well, Dr. Umar does got some good things to say. But then you also said that uh, my position on interracial marriages, I forget the word you used, but you basically said it was some bullshit or something like that, right? Or some garbage or something like that. And then you went on again and you took another shot at me and you said something to the effect that, uh, what did you say? You took two shots, two shots. Uh, then you said something about, um, I don't listen to that part or that's foolish. You said that was stupid or foolish that I disagree with interracial relationships. It is stupid and foolish. That's not your words, my brother. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you said something to the effect that it was stupid or foolish. My position on black men sticking to black women so we can rebuild the black community. That, that, that's goofy to y'all. That's foolish to y'all. That's, that's stupid to y'all. And that's a damn shame. That is a damn shame. I am embarrassed that black men I am embarrassed that black men feel that there's something wrong with black men who say we need to stick to our own women so we can rebuild our community. I'm embarrassed that you feel that way. Now, I'm not knocking my brother, Freddie. You, when you mentioned my name, I said, okay, the brothers, you know, 
trying to put Mike Tyson onto some consciousness, some real consciousness. But then, you know, you don't back me up. And I don't need you to back me up, my brother, but if you're gonna put my name out there, you should have at least articulated who I am. The best you could come up with is he don't like white people. That was your response when he asked you, who is Dr. Umar? You said, he don't like white people. Are you serious, my brother? Are you serious? All the work that I have done, am doing, and continue to do for our race. And the best thing you could come up with when someone asks you, who is Dr. Umar? He don't like white people. You don't mention my credentials. You don't mention my work, my books, my school. The fact that I'm the main person out here saving black boys, saving black children. I'm the main reason why black parents can go into these schools and uh, articulately and intelligently advocate for their children and defend their children and keep them out of special ed and keep them off drugs, all that I do. I'm the number one black consciousness raiser in the world and the best thing you can say is he don't like white folks. That's the best thing that you can say is he don't like white folks. My brother, you do not have to defend me but if you're gonna mention me, at least be honest and be fair in what you say about me, brother. White folks would have done better than that. And Mike Tyson, I love and respect you, but your comments were very, very coonish. Your comments were very, very coonish. I always gave you credit as being one of the celebrities who I felt was a little bit more closer to the grassroots. I always gave, I always gave Mike Tyson credit for being one of those celebrities who I felt kept it more honest and more real when it came to issues of race and politics. But today, my brother, what I heard was pure coonery. What I heard today was pure coonery. You said, who is Dr. Umar? First of all, I doubt very seriously if you don't know who I am, brother Mike Tyson. I doubt very seriously if you don't know who I am, brother Mike Tyson. I doubt very seriously if you don't know who I am. And in your body language, your body language, when he said you should bring Dr. Umar on the podcast, you froze up and you stopped. And then you said, wait, wait, wait a minute. I got to do some research on him. But your body language did not correspond with your words. If you didn't know who I am, your body, you should not have reacted physically the way that you did. You would have just said, I don't know the brother. I'll look him up and I'll see. No, sir. You had a full body reaction when he mentioned my name. Iron Mike Tyson had a full body reaction when Brother Freddie mentioned my name. So there's no way your mouth can say one thing and your body language says something different. There's no way your mouth can say one thing and your body language says something totally different. I think you know who I am. It is almost impossible for you to live in America and not know who I am. It's impossible. It's impossible to live in an African world and not know who I am. But anyway, brother, you said, when he told you I don't support interracial relationships, brother Iron Mike Tyson said, who is he to have that opinion? You said, who is he to have that opinion? Brother Mike Tyson, that was a very bourgeoisie, untalented 10th, coon Illuminati statement of you, my brother. What do you mean who is he to have that comment like that? I thought every man and woman on the planet Earth had a right to their own opinion and position. I thought every man and woman on the planet Earth had a right to their own opinion and position. I thought every man and woman on the planet Earth had a right to their own opinion and position. Brother Mike Tyson, when you say, who is he to have that position, what are you saying? I gotta be a billionaire to have that position. I gotta be a millionaire to have that position. Yes, sir. Black power. I appreciate you, God. One love to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't understand. What credentials do I need to hold to have an opinion that goes against the mainstream narrative? Who is he to have that opinion? That tells me that you're working from an elitist, exclusive, 
black bourgeoisie celebrity mindset. That's a damn shame. That's a damn shame. So yes, I would love to have the hot boxing conversation with Brother Mike. Respectable dialogue, no problem here. Show me where Mike Tyson's studio at. I would love to come, schedule me in, and let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Schedule me in, Brother Mike. You know what else we could probably do too? Let's do a friendly, let's do a friendly celebrity boxing match, five rounds like you did with Roy Jones. Let's raise $2 million so we can renovate the entire Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy campus. What do y'all think about that, brothers and sisters? After me and Iron Mike Tyson have a brotherly conversation on his podcast, maybe about six months or nine months from now, we can get in the ring and do five rounds. I think I can last five rounds with Iron Mike. What do y'all think? 6'3", 260, North Philly. Somebody get Bernard Hopkins on the phone. Somebody get my North Philly brother Bernard Hopkins on the phone. Somebody get my North Philly brother Bernard Hopkins on the phone. Somebody get my favorite middleweight champion of all time. Somebody get my favorite middleweight champion of all time, my good brother Bernard Hopkins on the phone.